got good memories and it was a realization of a lifetime dream of navigating the ship around the world. I had often dreamed of it and had compared the uh, calculations that some of the past captains of ships had used and realized that the uh, system was the same, but the methods of doing it were so different as what Wolski worked with me. And incidentally, if I hadn't had his help, I don't believe I could have performed as well as I think I did. But it was a great thrill with Wolski's help to look ahead of the ship and over the bow of the ship and see the island and wherever we were headed come up and into view. I liked to work with the ship's crew and I thoroughly enjoyed it and I wish that we could have gotten together much several years ago. The, um, my entrance in the Coast Guard was rather unique in a sort of a way. I had been teaching in senior high school here in Springfield, Missouri before the war and one day I was in the post office and noticed an ad, um, a circular on statistical drafting. I took the exam and in two weeks I had an appointment to the ground school in Kellyfield, Texas. I stayed there about a year and a half, had a deferment and could have stayed in that deferment, but I knew that I wouldn't be satisfied if uh, I had not seen some action. So I talked to the Navy they offered me the same position with them at Corpus Christi, Texas in their ground school. I didn't want that, because I could have stayed at Cali, which was a delightful place at San Antonio. Later on, I talked to the Coast Guard Chief Petty Officer who was a recruiter in San Antonio, and he really gave me a selling job, promised me the sky, and which it turned out just exactly like he said. I went to boot camp in uh, Algiers, Texas, or Algiers, Louisiana. And I will never forget the reception that these recruits received in across the river from New Orleans. The liquor just flowed until we didn't know whether we were floating or flying going back to camp. But after uh, getting into the Coast Guard, $21 a month, I was fortunate enough to go to OCS in uh, New London, Connecticut. And of course, I had spent four years in the Coast Guard. And after uh, the war was over, I came back to Springfield, Missouri, still not knowing what I wanted to do. I was offered the principalship of one of the schools here in town, but I turned that down. And I was in Jefferson City, Missouri one day and ran into a fraternity mate. And he told me that the Veterans Administration had been hiring some people as training officers. I went to Kansas City and interviewed the chief, and in less than two hours I had a job in the Veterans Administration uh, working with machinist trainees in on-the-job training. It was good work, and they did a, a lot of good for the young mechanics that were coming on to be machinists. But later on, I determined that they were closing it down, and I started looking around for something else. I visited with one of my friends from earlier days, and he was in the construction business. And we came to the conclusion that a new lumber yard here in Springfield would be a great asset, not only to his construction company, but to the neighborhood. So we opened the lumber yard. And that was truly an experience. I had had some experience with my father's hardware store, so I knew that. But later on, uh, the lumberyard changed hands. The man that I was working with was in a car accident and had almost a fatal accident. But he wanted to get out also. So I was interviewed by the business manager of University here in 
Springfield, and he hired me as a purchasing officer. And later on, we bought everything from peanuts, popcorn, to electron microscopes. It was truly an adventure, and I retired from that uh, work in 1974. It's been a good life, but I think the highlight of the whole lifetime experience was the time that I spent aboard ship with the LST 795. I was married to Neva in uh, 1957. We have three children. Oh, incidentally, uh, Neva had been working for one of the contractors we sold and sold to. And I invoiced them for some merchandise, and I had made a mistake, and she called me on it, and I had to go issue a credit. And that's how I met her. But the three children are, Mary Ann is in uh, retail merchandising in Kansas City. Janine is a registered nurse with two young boys in uh, St. Louis, and my son, Mike, lives in Ozark with the granddaughter, uh, Lindsay. He is uh, working with stainless steel, and if you know the um, way the big tanks are made with the cup ends, and he cuts the holes in that surfaces for the pipes that go into the uh, tank. It's interesting work, and they're doing quite well. And Neva and I are enjoying our retirement.